Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy beginner's abstract background. They look cool and they, they're they really easy to make. So you're going to make a 1910 by 180 or whatever your screen is, maybe 1366 by 768. See that? Um, Alright, so we'll come up with a white. Um, you're just going to go straight to black, the foreground color, and that is the background. And then you're going to go to the paint bucket. Yours might be on gradient, so you go right click it, hit paint bucket make it black, then you're going to go shift, control shift N for a new layer, hit OK, you're going to go to the paintbrush, this one here, then you are going to go to your abstract brushes, the link is in the description, make it a bit bigger and you need it to be white. Now you're going to click it a few times so it's quite bright, and then you'll get your other one, maybe this one, and click it a few times as well. Then what you're going to do is Control Shift N again, new layer. Then you're going to go to the paintbrush again, and you're going to go up to this one here, or one of those. Then you're going to put it to about 300 pixels. Go off that, and then you're going to pick your colors. Um, let's just say I want to do red and green, so I'll just color it in. I'll just do half half. So color that in. Yep, yeah, alright, there we go. And now I'm picking my other color, so it's green. Green actually looks really good, I think. Red looks quite cool as well. Alright, so red and green. Alright, now you're gonna go to double click on that. Or you can also right click blending options. Then you're going to go to color. Now that'll already start looking like you want it to. Does look pretty cool. Um, then you're going to go also go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you're going to put it to 5 pixels. Then you're going to go control shift N, create another new layer. And you're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. It's going to come out like this, like fucking retarded. But you need to go to Gaussian Blur again. Type in 10, 10 pixels. And then you're going to double click or right click on Layer 3, Blending Options. Then you're going to go to Vivid Light. It might come out kind of retarded and schizo like that, but you need to change the opacity of this. So to might be really low but it just gives it a little bit of an extra glow so there we go it looks pretty cool it's got the glow and everything that's the end of the tutorial